In Revit, the Design Options tool lets you create multiple temporary iterations of any aspect of your project, which you can later choose to make as a permanent part of your model. For example, if I want a few different design options for a front vestibule, I'll go ahead and go to the Design Options window by choosing Tools at the top, Design Options, Design the Options again, and I can click New to start my first set. If you click on the set, you can click Rename, and you can give it a different name. In this case, Front Vestibule. Click OK. You can see that Revit has automatically started you out with one option in the set. If I choose the option, if I want to um, start working with this option, I can get into an edit mode by clicking Edit Selected. I'm going to close out of the Design Options window so I can get back into the work area. Then here I can start adding different elements while I'm in this edit mode for the first option. So go ahead and add a wall and a door. Once you finish the first option, uh, you want to get out of the edit mode by going back to the Design Options window. So I'll go back to Tool, Design Options, Design Options again. I'm going to choose Option 1, and to close out, I'm going to click Finish Editing. Now that I've closed out of the uh, edit mode of Option 1, I can create a new option um, by clicking New under the Options category. This creates an Option 2 in the set, which I can then choose and click Edit Selected to get into its edit mode. I can add a new wall for this option. In this case, I'll add a round wall and a new door. Once I've finished with the second option, I'll use the same process. So I'll go back to the Design Options window, click on that option, and choose Finish Editing. Once I've closed out of the edit mode of that second option, you'll notice that the view has reverted to the first option. That's because if you look in the Design Option window, you can see that next to Option 1 is set to Primary. So all views in Revit will automatically default to the Primary option. You can always choose which option is set as the Primary by clicking it and going down under the Option category and choose Make Primary. In this case, Revit is warning me that an element will be deleted out of the view. I'll go ahead and click Delete and Make Primary and close out of the warning. I'm going to go ahead and close out of the Design Options window uh, to see the work area again. If I want different design options to appear in different views, for example, I want a few copies of this floor plan so that I can print off different options for a client, um, I can always change what option a particular view is showing in its visibility and graphics. So for example, I want to make a copy of this floor plan. So go, I'll click on it in the browser, go to View, Duplicate, View. And in this copy, I can go to its visibility and graphics, go to the Design Options tab, and I can pull down uh, the different option uh, to view in this view. I'll click OK. And now I have uh, a copy with an option 1 in it and a copy of the floor plan with an option 2 in it um, for printing. If I want to add existing elements to any design option, um, I can always do this by selecting the element, going up to Tools, pull down to Design Options, and this time choose Add to Design Option Set. Here it opens up a window which prompts me for which option set I want to add it to. Um, I can go ahead and choose the option set and click OK. You'll notice uh, in this case Revit is warning me that I can't add this door to the option set. That's because, uh, I'll go ahead and click Cancel. That's because any element that you add to a set must include all elements that are attached to it. In this case, this front door is actually a part of this wall. So if I want this door to be a part of an option set, I also have to choose the wall that it's connected to. So I'll choose the door, the wall that it's connected to, and go back to Tools, Design Options, Add to Design Options Set, and choose Option 2. Click OK. Now if I um, go back and edit Option 2, I can see that the door is now a part of this option, which I can start editing. I'll go ahead and close out of that. So go back to Design Options, 2, and finish editing. Finally, if I want to decide on an option to make it permanent, I want to go back to the Design Options window. And when I have the set selected, I can click Accept Primary to make it a permanent part of the model. Keep in mind that this deletes all other options, so make a backup. 